Hi, my name is Josh. This is Guitar Adventures. We're sitting here again with Dave Apple, my friend, and a guitar luthier that I have come to know and really respect for his work here and his just his shop and his garage. But he's really taken the time to put together uh, a lot of different guitars. How many guitars have you made over the years? Uh, acoustics, probably uh, 20 or so. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you've made. I've also seen mandolins and electric guitars as well. Yeah, I've done probably 12 or 14 uh, mandolins, a couple of violins. Um, electric guitars, I've, I've refinished a lot of those because those are basically planks of wood. Yeah. But I've probably done five or five or ten of those. Okay. Well, what we're going to do right now is I'm just going to have a conversation with Dave. I bought my kit from Luthier's Mercantile International, where you can find them at www.lmii.com. He's also worked with a lot of other kit makers. And so what I want to do is I want to talk about the different kits that are available, the different companies that provide them, and the pros and cons of each. So as you're looking to possibly decide about purchasing kit and determining whether, you know, especially whether you're a beginner or whether you've been doing this for a while, uh, to determine which, you know, what would be best for you to find. And so let, let's start, Dave, if you don't mind, by saying, um, I, I did mine from LMI. Um, right. what, are, what are some other kit makers, the major ones? Um, Stu Mac, uh, Stuart McDonald Company out of uh, Athens, Ohio, has a, a great kit. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's especially a, a nice kit for um, beginners. Okay. It comes with a, a DVD that really steps you through uh, the making process of the guitar. Uh, they come with a nice set of blueprints. They come with a uh, <clears throat> Mylar uh, outline of your bracing. Okay. Uh, so you wouldn't have to buy the uh, template for that. Okay. Uh, and the wood is very good. So I, I like Stumac a lot. So we've got LMI, we've got Stumac, and... Martin Corporation actually uh, will provide you with uh, uh, the wood for a kit uh, guitar if you order from them. Okay. Uh, one of the, the nice upsides of the LMI, uh, if you're a more advanced builder, is you can customize it to most anything you want. You can change your bindings, you can uh, decide you want to cut your own bracing, you can uh, pick the uh, quality of the wood uh, maybe to make your kit a little less expensive or more expensive. Uh, the Stumac kit doesn't allow you to do that. Now they have extra parts you can buy to do that, but sure. it's going to cost you more money. It's not like you can replace it, it's just right. an additional thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for instance, the Stumac kit comes with a rosewood fingerboard. While rosewood is nice and it's very playable and, and guitar players like it, I prefer an amity fingerboard because it's much more dense wood, it's harder, and it really comes out nice. I like it, especially when you're going to do a refret job in about 10 years. Sure. Uh, pulling those old frets out of ebony is much more much easier than rosewood. Okay. But that'll cost you extra, another $50. All right. Um, the uh, uh, Martin kits uh, are... You know, you would think Martin, it's going to be Martin quality, just like you get out of a, a dreadnought you'd pick up a, at a guitar store from Martin. But uh, from what I've been told, they actually take their factory seconds and put those into the kits. So, um, you know, for the money, I'm probably going to go with uh, Stumac if I'm a, an inexperienced builder. Fine guitars you can make out of there. Or if you're more experienced, probably the LMI kit. Yeah. Yeah, in my experience, I really I enjoyed the opportunity. And granted, I'm a beginner, so you know I I probably should have gone with something that was a little easier. But being able to take and and say no, I wanted a different kind of rosette, or mm -hmm. I wanted you know maybe a, a different kind of binding. I did enjoy the process. Now, granted, I there were some things where it was kind of the the choices. It's like going to Starbucks. You know, when when I, the first right. time you go to Starbucks, when you're like, I there's so many choices, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So I think that there is some you know value to just having a kit where the builders say this all fits together and it looks nice at the end. Right. You know, there are some things that I put, to, you know, that I added that I think um, possibly, you know, I did a wood binding that I don't think really went with it because I didn't know. I didn't know what the wood necessarily looked like. Right. And uh, and now looking back, I think I see that while I, I definitely did enjoy the fact that with LMI I was able to customize everything, at the same time, uh, I didn't quite know what I was doing as well. And so, you know, you'd mentioned in, you know, earlier how I had bought you know, just the, the, what was it? The binding was just a, a uh, not the binding, what was that? The bracing. The bracing, mm -hmm. yeah. The bracing was just this this 
piece of wood right. that would have taken me for sure a long time to try to get right as as actual bracing. And so I went back and ordered, you know, the pre-cut bracing, and it's something I should have done from the very beginning. A right. lot of that stuff. So, yeah. So what I'm hearing you saying is that we've got LMI, which I think it was. I enjoyed the process of, of, of purchasing the kit. I think it was good quality mm -hmm. um, of, of a kit. But in terms of being for a, a very very beginner like myself, your experience with Stu Mac with Stuart McDonald has been that you've really you think those kits kind of lend themselves to beginners. I, I do. Uh, part of the reason for that is uh, the machining that's uh, required. Uh, if you don't have a, a high quality table saw uh, mm -hmm. or uh, or any other big uh, machinery, if you don't have a uh, a sander, a huge sander, then uh, getting the Stumac parts, they're pre-machined. They take that big cutting and, and, uh, and sanding out of the equation so you can take the parts, put them together, and do most of your work by hand. Mm -hmm. Minimal tools. Gotcha. Now, they also will sell you every tool imaginable. Sure. <laughs> uh, with the LMI, uh, it's going to take a little more uh, tooling. You're okay. going to need uh, to be able to, to have a good table saw to cut your uh, neck blocks and, and such. And if you buy the uh, unformed bracing, you're going to have to have the tooling for that as well. Yeah. And one of the things you're, you're mentioning here is that the, the advantage of LMI and Stumac is that they do have pretty much every single tool you can imagine that you would need to buy for building these guitars. Whereas Martin and let's say a number of the places where you can get an electric guitar kit yeah. might not sell you. Or, have those as available options for you to buy those tools, That's right. is that right? If you go out, uh, say on the Martin website, you, you be able to buy a kit, but the tool selection is very, very limited. There's a couple of saws, uh, there's uh, you know a form for the outside, those sort of things. You can buy parts, you can buy pick guards and things like that, but it's not the uh, big tool section like Stumac or LMI. You can buy any tool under the sun, really. Sure. Uh, and you can go crazy. Yeah, you know, every time I get a new kit, I try to get a new tool. That yeah. way, uh, you know, you build them up over time. So. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's great. So, uh, like we said, we've got the three main players, which it sounds like are LMI, Luthiers Mercantile International, Stumac, and uh, and Martin Guitars. I'm going to have all the links to those players uh, in the description below, so you can check out what kind of kits they have and what kind of tools that they provide or that you can purchase. Um, would you, you know, before we head out, is are there any, I guess, suggestions that you would provide for anybody that is is looking to buy a kit, whether it's uh, for the first time, like any, you know, mistakes that you've made or or, uh, or things that you would add to somebody that wants to buy a kit? I would say do your homework. YouTube is a great uh, resource uh, if you want to see somebody actually putting their hands on the wood. Uh, doing the things that they sh tell you that you're supposed to do in the directions yeah. uh, and tips. Uh, one of the things uh, Stumac has is a, uh, a whole section with video tips on guitar repair and guitar building. Great resources. Yeah. Uh, so before you dive in, do a little homework. Right. Uh, it would have saved me from perhaps uh, a guitar that sits in my living room and doesn't really function. Uh, the first one I built. <laughs> Which probably would have been my guitar had I tried to build it, I'm sure. So Dave, first of all, thank you very much just for your help with this guitar. Uh, it means a lot to me personally, it really does, and so thank you for that. And I'm sure that all of you are very grateful for his, uh, his insight in all of this. If you want to find out more, like I said, look in the description. I will provide more uh, actually on the link back to Guitar Adventures. Uh, just to kind of describe my experience, Dave has done pretty much 95% of this build, and I've been uh, I've been learning from him. So what started off as me wanting to build this guitar ended up being Dave being very helpful. And you know that's something I would say as well. If, if coming from my perspective, if you are wanting to do a kit, you can put a kit all together by yourself. I'm sure you could. One of the things that I found even more valuable though was being able to piggyback off the experience of somebody that's been doing it for a long time. So I know there are programs out there where you can actually get together with a luthier and do the build with him and so at the end you come out with a quality guitar and you've actually learned a lot in the process and if I were to do this over again that would definitely be the way I would go. I would say hey I want to find a luthier I know whether that's a program or whether it's a friend and say hey can you can you do this with me 
and, and show me what you're doing. And that has ended up being probably more valuable than, than anything else that I've been doing. So again, if you have questions, you can leave them in comments below. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to answer them, but I'll try to find some luthier that can. Uh, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anybody else that you know that is thinking about building a guitar. My name is Josh Summers. This is Dave Apple. Thank you very much for your time. This is Guitar Adventures. Remember, play hard and enjoy the adventure.